You're probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Before we move on, I want to point out that this water isn't moving. But also, if we stand in it, we get pushed back, which is interesting. But anyway, let's head on in. We can somehow breathe down here, but I guess this is air down here, which is also even stranger. It's not just the water that's not moving. These moblins and a lot of dark nuts just wandering around are also frozen. A lot of enemies here. A lot of tough enemies, actually. All right, Link. I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in the, this castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Do you know where to search? And what you must open, do to open the hidden way? You'll find a clue in the shape of the heraldry uh, near where we arrived at the castle. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, it's kind of, kind of obvious what we need to do, but also we need to pull this block, these blocks around, and since they're triangle shaped, they actually move differently than we would be used to. So let's just move these around. There's two over here. So let's just do that then, making sure to move them in the correct directions. We could also push them if we wanted to, but you know, pulling is kind of cool, especially, hang on, I'm going to push this one, ah, just going to pull this one in here, especially if we pull it in like that to have them around us. Obviously it's the shape of the Triforce. And the giant statue of the hero moves back. Allowing us access to the basement. Remember, this was the mini-boss, or mid-boss, of the dungeon we just did. Just to put that into perspective. How many of those there are in that room? 
Excellent, Link. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. Um, um, I disagree. Now take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane. It is the only sword that can ba banish Ganon from the world above. You got the Master Sword, the legendary blade with the power to repel evil, once wielded by the legendary hero himself. Man, with that, 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 that theme as well, oh my goodness. Just gives me the goosebumps. Before we move on though, I just want to look around this room, because there are these windows that look pretty cool. One with the Triforce, one with Princess Ruta, Ruto, one with... I can't remember his name, but I guess it's it's the owl owl guy. I guess Gabora, Gabora, Gabora. I don't know. One of Saria. One of the Triforce with Ganon underneath it. Uh, I can't remember all their names, and it's sad. But they're the they're the. The sages from Ocarina of Time, and it's so cool that they have those windows there, because you, it's, it's hard to see them in this room from the middle, but if you stop and look at them, it's so cool. But anyway, we have the Master Sword now, so we have that to attack with, which is probably a good thing, because we have a lot of enemies that just reawoken, re reawakened. Upstairs. Well, can't go back down there now. But anyway, we need to be careful because we have a ton of enemies. Oh my goodness. Now, the good thing about this though, is that we have the Master Sword, which is actually stronger than the sword we've had for the, the game so far. Which makes it a little bit easier to take out all these enemies, but we still want to be careful as we go forward. And it would also probably be good to actually get... Ow. Probably be actually good to get the items from these enemies since there are so many here. Oh my goodness. Getting the skull necklaces and knight's crests are very important in this place, so... Since you can just get many. Oh my goodness. Give me your skull necklace, please. Thank you. Go to your helmet. Get that, and give me the. Ah! Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. Go to you, please. Please. Taking on one enemy at a time is probably a good plan, though, if you can. A little bit easier said than done, though. Now give me the Knight's Crest, just to make sure I get that.
Okay, good. Great. Now, I don't know if this is going to be effective. Nope, it's not. Cool. Just have to do regular combat with these dark nuts. Okay. We're so much stronger now with the Master Sword, which is nice. Takes a lot less time than it would otherwise. Okay, don't break the helmet then. I think I can't actually take his Knight's Crest without taking off his helmet, so that's annoying. There we go. Let's grab that, please. And let's get rid of you. They can still do to, uh, attacks with their hands, though, so you have to be careful of that. Even if they are disarmed, they still punch you, kind of thing. It's more like jabs, though. Give me that skull necklace. Very nice. I guess I could also use arrows if I wanted to. Okay, give me that. Nice. Ah! Flying away. Good. Give me that Knight's Crest, thank you. Guess this is also a pretty good place to get rupees, apparently. Give me Skull Necklace, thank you. Because they don't always drop their special item, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they do. I could be wrong. But it'll still be good to guarantee. Okay, let's go down here and get this. Oh, there's two things down here. That is a shame, but this uh, Dark Knight is coming up the stairs. Maybe? Maybe not, I guess. Well, here, I'll lure you away. Take you out quickly, maybe. Ow. Goodbye. Also remember, these guys were the mid-boss of the first dungeon in uh, Dragon Roost, and then also reappeared again. Can't go through that because of the laser gate. Reappeared again in the Forbidden Woods, guarding the boss key. And also just stopping us from doing anything in the Forsaken Fortress. Can you please pick up your blade? Thank you like to get your helmet if I can. Nope, okay. Please drop your orb, thank you. If you drop if they drop their orb, they should generally always drop their special item. Okay, Dark Knot, sneak attack! Take away your things straight away and just absolutely destroy everything. Very nice. Orb, please. Thank you. Give me that. Okay, it looks like we have most of the ones down here, which is good. But we're still missing a few more. And I don't know if they're down here or if they're up higher up. Because that's all we have left to search by the looks of it. Also, I like these pictures on the wall here as well. Especially with this one over here. Looking very interesting, with a bunch of interesting characters. But anyway, let's get these... Oh my goodness, how many are there? <laughs> There's so many enemies. How did I hit both of those? I don't know. Okay, that one's dead. Grab that one. That one's dead. This is working out quite well for me. I think the first time I did this room, I had a lot of trouble and used fairies. But it's actually not that bad, once you actually just do it, I guess. Okay, Dark Knight. Take off your helmet. No? Okay. If that's the way you want it to be, I'll just take you out normally then. Just like that. Okay, Knight's Crest. Oh, I wonder. 
Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Can I please take up the pick up the sword, please? Pick up. Thank you. I wonder. <laughs> I just have to know what happens if I do that. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't work extremely well. <laughs> it didn't work extremely well, but it was still cool. Well, calm down. Pick up the sword. Pick up the sword, Link. What is wrong with you? Fine, if that's the way you want it to be. I'll just take him out like that. We also can't get out of here until we take out all the enemies in the room. Which we have now done. So there we go. Let me just go quickly check if he dropped his orb. I don't know where he fell though. I think this is where he landed probably. Looks like it didn't though. So that's a skull necklace I missed, I guess. Also, the music in here is really cool because it's... I can't actually remember what song it is, but it's from... I'm pretty sure Link to the Past. But still, anyway. Let's head back to the King of Red Lions. At long last, our preparations are complete. We must return. Uh, you must return to me so that we can return by the same path that brought us here. The time has come for... Come to save your sister from her prison in the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry, Link. Okay, then. It's looking good for us. Can't go back down now. So, let's be on our way. I guess I should probably head to do a few things. And I think Windfall Island is where I want to go to first. So let's do that. Set the wind to that direction. Actually, I have an idea of something that I could do. But it's, it, it probably, it's probably going to require a lot more planning than I can actually handle. Uh, let's switch the bow back to R. Or, yeah, R, so I can make sure that works properly. Where am I going? Um, this might work. Actually, no, I need to go more this way. So let's do that. Just gonna have to take our time sailing. Also, we're going to just be able to see the Tower of the Gods from super far away all the time now. It's huge. It's massive. Also, there's a cyclone. But you know what? I'm just going to go straight into it. Full on. Just take me in and. Okay. But now we have a bow and arrows, so let's try to shoot into the eye of the storm, which apparently is pretty easy to do because the storm is actually pulling the arrows in. Just hit him a few times. That's a heck of an arm you've got there. And watch tonight. No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. You obviously have mastery of the air. And now that we've established that you're quite the wind waker, let's see if you can handle this. You learned the Ballad of Gales! Wahoo! In the hands of the Wind Waker you, like you, of a Wind Waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, 
Just call on my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head home for now. See you on- See you down the road. Another crazy wind god. Anyway, let's just quickly... Do that. Use the Ballad of Gales. And now... We can teleport to any of these markers on the map. Which is quite useful. Especially because we can go to Windfall Islands just like that. So there we go. We have a faster way around the island, or the Great Sea. Not quite as fast as it could be, but still pretty good. Now, I'm also pretty sure that there's a, a treasure here that we can actually get. So let's take a look. Am I thinking about the wrong place? Maybe I am. Am I crazy? There must be somewhere else entirely. I thought it was here, I guess not. Actually, that might, hang on, that might be, yeah, that's actually Dragon Roost, interesting. So we'll have to get that then. But anyway, let's get off the boat now, and let's take a look at a few things around here. Oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Listen to my tale of woe. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, no. Oh, 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 my sweet, sweet daughter. My only daughter. Poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. I, having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Please, please, save my poor daughter, I beg of you. Here I stand, begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh yes, pay. Okay, sir. Well, anyway. He's one of the people who lost their daughter, I guess. But now... Let's talk to this guy. Oh! No, that's not it. Just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't e it either. Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am Tot. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two. One, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day, uh, right before my very eyes. I can't remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that uh, intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? I don't, but I have a Wind Waker. Uh, uh, cha. Uh, uh, cha. That's, that's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy. You learn the song of passing. That's it, that's it. And it's perfect. I'm perfect. Now bring on the night. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? Well, if we use the song of passing now. We can change day into night, and night into day, which is actually going to be very useful to us. 
in in some ways. Right now, though, it means that we can check out the auctions that we've heard of. So that we might be able to sail faster, maybe. So let's go into this house here. And find out what that's all about. Well now, good evening. Yes, yes, I rent out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh dear me, is it ever. Now it is indeed an auction, but I like to describe it more simple in more simple terms. It is a competition of the very highest order. Oh yes, it is a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have a have the courage and the fundage? Oh, the drama. Ah, but what's this? Well, dear me, do I detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do. Fortunately, we welcome bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. So, yes, so tell me, would you like to participate in the auction? Absolutely. Really? Dear me, really? Now, you are completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you. Am I correct in assuming this? I'm fine with that. Yes, good, that speeds things up. Very well then, let us begin immediately. It's no time to dawdle. The auction is afoot. On your toes, on your toes. Here's our competition of characters. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank you all for bargain... Uh, for all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. This the auction is about to begin, yes. And what do you suppose will pop up as our item of the evening? Oh dear me, I'm so excited I can't stop, stop uh, sniffling. The calm before the, the auction storm make, always makes my nose run. Let's get to it. This evening our glorious auction item is this. A fabulous piece of art. Oh my dear. What a prize. At last, the su suspense is over, but all the drama aside, you should know. It is extremely rare to even get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It is precious, quite dear, very valuable, yes, yes, yes. Listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. Let's open the bidding at 80 rupees. And... Begin! So now we've mashed the A button. Or just let it the meter go up slowly to add a bid. Everyone else can also bid their own amount of rupees. This bar does go up automatically. Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is none other than the esteemed Gummy. The bid is at 83 rupees. But come now, friends. I hope you won't let it stop there. 86 rupees. It also shows us how much time is left before the end of the auction. And we have to be the person with the highest bid at the end of the auction, in 52 seconds. Which pauses, I'm pretty sure, every time somebody puts something in, but we can check every time we want to bid in. So let's put up the thing. I don't know how much exactly you need to put it up by, but I'm going to do it 100 and... Uh, so let's put it up by about 40 rupees, I think that is. Yeah, 40 rupees. Oh, oh, dearest me, incredible, the drama. Everyone is stuck speechless at Link's bid. Ah, <sighs> what? No, my, he's got a lot of pluck for such a youngster. So now that stuns everyone for a while, and we want to keep stunning everyone so that they don't have a chance to bid, basically. Which is a little bit annoying to have to put up the price so much, but it means we have a higher chance of just getting it. But we also need to be careful not to accidentally... Uh, have the thing go up too much on our bar. But anyway, let's put this up by how much? I can't maths in my head apparently. One, two, three, f nope, four. 171. Another 40 rupees. And that stuns everyone again. Huck, is he serious? What a brat! Also, I didn't see how much. I probably should have paid attention to how much time was left. Time is running out, dear friends. I think that means that there's like 15 seconds left or something. I need to be ready. Just in case they get unstunned and then bid it up too much. More. 
16 seconds left, okay. Uh, let's put this up to 112, 212. Stun everyone again. Ah, uh, what? No, he's got a lot of pluck for such a youngster. I think we should be good, probably. I don't know how long the stun's gonna last, though. If they bid at the last second, there's much time left, people, good people. Are you done bidding? If they bid just before the end and I don't have enough time to bid... Yes, yes, yes! Only five seconds remain. Are you all done? Is this the end? I'm just gonna bid extra bit just to make sure they... ...stay stunned. Hopefully. Oh dear me! And the crowd's auctioneering goes rears. Au auction goers go rears. I see nothing but stunned faces. But he's such an- just an innocent little boy! How did- how did I let him tr trick me like that? Four, three, two, one. And sold! Here ends the auction. Tonight's fabulous piece of heart goes to... Link for the price of 243 rupees. Dear me, let me just say congratulations! And so we get a piece of heart. My, my dear, how incredible that such... A youngster walked away with the prize. I've never seen such a flat, a fat wallet. That kid was bidding a, a, a bidding machine right up to the end. But now then, on to business. For the lucky ones out there, and yes, yes, also for the, for you, not so lucky ones. Let me say thank you for your participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Dear people, thank you very much. So there we go. The key to winning the auction is to be the uh, right in the thick of all the bidding. Just be aggressive, it's the only way. For example, try bidding, uh, up bidding the bid by more than just a few rupees. You may, you need pretty deep pockets of course, but if you play it right, your move may just be such a mental shock to the other bidders that they don't know what to do. If you manage to shock them, they won't be able to bid until they snap out of it. Then you can get things for cheaper than they would normally go. Neat trick, huh? What? You uh, already knew that, all. All that. Well, I guess I understand you underestimated you. Sorry. <laughs> yes, you did. You underestimated me deeply. I mean, 212 is, or well, however much it was, is a fair bit of rupees to lose all at once. But also, we won the bid, so. <laughs> but. We can also leave and go back in to see if it changes what item is available to us for the bid. And I want to quickly double check to see if I can get the thing now. I want to participate in the auction. I'm fine with that. Let's go. Item is a treasure chart. Okay, I'm gonna just leave that for now. We, we don't have to worry about stuff being uh, not here if it gets sold uh, to an auction, but because every time we <laughs> five rupees is the starting point, we can actually just come back anytime we want, and the items will just cycle through. So we will we'll always have a chance to get them. We just need to keep bidding, which means you could technically try and get it for the lowest price possible, and if it's higher than you would like, just leave and come back, but still. Anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.